man what's going on guys the creator here back with another video and this video is for the 1998 Mach 1 no 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 that's that car this is a 1998 swap V6 yeah what 89 yeah yeah it's too early for this anyway we about to put some exhaust on it because I don't know if you can hear it but it's just headers and catalytic converters it actually stops right there behind the rear O2s so the performance which is about 80 horsepower is not there at all so I need to put exhaust on it so I'm about to get ready to leave the house and we're gonna see how this goes all right let's go and we're off so we in here in the 89 fox body that is 98 6 swap the six fox is what we usually call it i guess but i know y'all haven't been in here before when it was driving it is loud in here pretty sure there's something going on with the rear end but that was something that i did way before youtube so i'm gonna have to figure that out but overall i had to fix a little suspension work my coilovers wasn't really working as you can see Yeah, it was pretty bad, but now I got shocks and springs. So, I think we're good. But we pulled up at Waffle House, so let's go in here and get something to eat. Go by the bank to get some cash. And, uh, yeah, get some exhaust on here. And I'll show you what type of exhaust I've got. Well, I just got gas, but I can't go anywhere because there's a trailer right there. And there's a car behind me, so I'm just kind of sitting here it was on the way but I can't move oh I think they about to move Yeah, this is where we took the Mach 1 and Jarrett's car, actually. And let me tell you what kind of exhaust I have. So this is a, basically a GTH pipe. I wanted to go with something a little different. So, GTH pipe. And also got some, I think they're Mac. I'm not sure what they are, but the guy told me there was basically like an off-brand Flowmaster. So, we're just going to see how that sounds. And I got some tips that I feel like it's going to look pretty cool on the car. But, yeah. We're going to wait for them because I think I'm after this truck. But, yeah. This should be fun. Hopefully it sounds good. Just when I started talking good about my car, it breaks. So, <clears throat> I get to the muffler shop, and I'm like, hey, I want full exhaust. Can you please put it on there? Gave me a price, gave me a good deal, because I know the guy and all that. And everything worked out great. Until we put it up in the air. So when we put it up into the air, he was looking at it. And the guy underneath the car was like, man, I really smell gas, like really strong gas. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I just filled up. It's fine. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. It smells strong. Yeah, I know. I just filled up. 
FBI. Well, I turned around and a drop of gas fell down. So I was like, shh. Went there, went directly to my job, put it on my lift to look at it, make sure what was going on. Turns out the rubber gasket around the fuel pump, the fuel pump cap was messed up. I don't know how. I guess it got old. I don't know. It was very strange. So I had to wait for that part to come in. Now, while I was doing this, I just left the gas tank just kind of hanging on the stand. You know, I was like, okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's disconnected, right? Well, I get the part. I'm like, cool. All right, let's do this. I open up the thing, gas poured everywhere because I had a full tank. Got on me, got on my clothes, what have you. Well, went ahead and hurry up and changed that. Right when I changed it out, my filler neck grommet. Hey, quit fighting. They always, look at them, being bad again. Hey, quit. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta do the rest of my video right here because they want to fight and argue. Hey little man. Anyways, y'all quit. I guess from it sitting so long in the awkward position, the filler neck grommets start messing up. So, put the gas tank on and everything. Went for a left turn and gas started pouring out again. So I had to wait for the part to get that. So now, we waited so long to get the parts to come in, I couldn't put the exhaust on the car. So I'm probably gonna have to do it my next off day, which is Thursday, but to you guys, it's gonna be a couple seconds, so. Yeah, see you then. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can't see me. But yeah, we getting this day started early. I can't see. No, barely. Okay, whatever. It's like 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock uh, in the morning. And I'm going to get something to eat some breakfast it's been a week later since um you know what i don't even know why i'm pointing the camera at myself yeah let's just point to the street i'm gonna try again to see if i can put the exhaust on i fixed the gas leak so it should they should let me put the exhaust on if they have any other problems then i'm probably just not made to have exhaust on this car which i mean yeah but yeah, I'm on my way to go to Chick-fil-A, eat with the family and whatnot, and, you know, have a good time for a couple minutes until they open up, which they open up like around 7.30, and then I'll be on my way. Uh, until then, stay tuned. And as soon as we make it to Chick-fil-A, my check engine light comes on great but uh, I'm gonna go home after here check it out and see what's going to happen yep just what I thought can't do much okay what are y'all doing all right it's too early for this guys <laughs> but yeah uh i'll see you then all right guys we back up here at uh can you see discount muffler i guess you could say yeah muffler and brake whatever and i'm back in line waiting again 
I like my shirt. I like my shirt. But yeah. Uh, they said give us about like a couple minutes. They're going to look at some people's cars and whatnot. And then uh, they should get to me. So I don't know what time. It's 8 o'clock right now. I don't know what time they're going to actually get to me or when they're going to get done. But we're going to see. And hopefully this thing sounds will sound a lot better and perform a lot better. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, yeah, let's get it done. So guys, we got a new thing. We're gonna take off the back resonator and keep the front two up there and just add this GTH pipe. And then we're gonna add the muffler and the shell tips. So, a little bit more work for a little bit more money, but I mean, hey, it'll work. six fox in here and I will say this it sounds great let me turn this way so you can actually see me but it's quiet yes but I mean that's to be expected with a b6 so I can't really complain too much about it it is actually drivable now and it just I can actually just talk like this while I'm in the car now I don't have to yell anymore so that's always great only thing is though, I am having a problem with the check engine light keep on coming on. I'm pretty sure I probably messed up my rear O2s. Not sure, probably gonna have to replace those or get a tune and delete it or something like that. I don't know, but it's drivable, so we're good. And I got people staring at me, my neighbors staring at me, so 
yeah i probably need to go ahead and get off this camera but uh yeah stay tuned for the next videos uh i'm not sure what i'm gonna do next in the next videos but hopefully we can do something with the uh 98 mach 1 so yeah let me get off of here before people think i'm crazy so uh catch y'all on the next one